Honey, the conflict between Judy, Dobrat's wife, and the two are taking their split to a whole new level, and Jessica is hitting new heights and giving us all the Hollywood drama we never knew we wanted. The tea is boiling hot, so here's the scoop. The brat has really gained custody of their son, and she's making some big claims. If you thought this breakup was over, think again. Jessica isn't staying quiet, instead, she's responding with strong words that are making everyone uncomfortable. She shared her thoughts on the whole mess, saying that her son is, in fact, her son and not Judy Jessica's. However, that's not all. Dubrat has filed for child support against Jessica. The brat forced me to. Broken was a punishment in my life, and it's evident that this breakup is not amicable from the intensity of the event. Judy is really tense and her emotions are raw. Today, we're going to get deep into the tea and chat about none other than Dee and her BBL queen Judy kid. Let's get started since the drama is hotter than a jalapeno. Before we do, though, let me clarify a few things because some of you were quite upset in the comments and wanted to know where I obtained my information. First of all, let me to remind you that I revealed in my previous video that Judy and Brad aren't actually married, instead, their marriage was only a commitment ceremony. From what I remember, this may have been from season 1 or 2, but I'm leaning towards the second season when Judy went through that awkward birthday party for the brat and was essentially forced to put a ring on it. As I've already mentioned, everything they do is calculating it. Now that all is business, let me tell you how Judy's wheels have been spinning regarding Kaleidoscope. Thinking of ways to increase the amount of money and draw attention to Kaleidoscope, her sister decides to pop the question to Brad and ask her friend Judy to marry her. She knows that Judy was a skilled lady. Proposing to another woman, she was aware that the LGBT plus community would welcome her with wide arms. Since it appears that she is all about love, the reception has been overwhelming. But chilly this is something that I have been saying since before I even started posting videos on them. This partnership yeah, it's a company. Not actual love, but an arrangement I'm simply being honest, it's that serious. Sealed and signed supplied energy that everyone may use to pick up a camera, go out with an unknown person, and Playhouse simply said, people do it frequently, and that's the impression I'm getting from these two. At first, it could have been exciting, but, now that it appears to be just another business move, sweetheart, let's speak about Judy's relationship with Brad. You know, I have to spill the tea since they say Judy briefly left Brad to go back to a man before realizing she needed Brad. That's the phrase once more, but let's talk about this scenario. As I said in my last video, I was searching the internet to see if anybody else was noticing similar warning signs in Brad and Judy's relationship. What Lipstick Alley is that I came upon baby, if you've never heard of Lipstick Alley search for it on Google and you'll see exactly what I mean. In Chile, they were sharing a ton of information about the source, which was a close friend of Brad and Judy's who went to the alleged wedding. According to them, Brad and Judy aren't legally married honey. I can't remember if it was in season 1 or 2, but I do remember Judy proposing to Brad and him saying something like, Nah, I owe all this money, I don't want them coming after you. But wait, I remember Judy, Miss BBL, giving me the big money grip and saying, I got it, I got it so baby what's really going on here this ain't adding up something's fishy. I don't know these people personally, but I know when something isn't right, so whether they're legally married or not, who knows if an investigator wanted to look into it they might uncover the truth, but according to that, in the mix and I'm calling it out that can't be the real reason they didn't tie the knot look. That source near the nuptial celebration since Lisa Ray was clearly not into Judy from the beginning. And, let's face it, is still probably not, it is possible that she is the reason Brad and Judy aren't legally married at this point. However, once the family arrives, things really start to click. What's really going on we only get those little TV clips but Lisa has been up close and personal with them so she knows what's up Brad's mama knows to trust and believe there's a whole lot of mess happening in that house. And let me just say allegedly of course now. Let me be clear I don't know for sure what's really going down but trust me these little clips say a lot I'm not sure if they've been peeping my videos but lately honey Brad has been holding true Tyler like her life depends on it have y'all noticed that I guess Judy must have given the green light like. It's okay for you to hold him let's drop some videos and shut these folks up girl by we're not that easily fooled we see right through the smoke and mirrors child and when Brad's holding true Judy might as well be invisible that baby is turning his head not even acknowledging Judy he's all about Brad child I don't know what's happening behind those doors. But something is off and you know how Judy does she'll get all doled up face beat to the gods throw on her outfit. And then they'll grab the camera just to make a video for y'all but let me tell you we are tired of these clips of her heading to check the mail or take out the trash like why are they always in that pink golf cart what's the point of that drop down in. 
the comments and let me know if y'all can figure out why Judy and baby True Tyler are always rolling around in that thing where are they even going I do remember when Bra gave Judy that golf cart might have been for her birthday or something but I clearly recall she used to ride it just to go to the mailbox so maybe that's what it's about but but seriously what's up with that in my last video I gave y'all a heads up to keep an eye out for those kaleidoscope baby products well chilly I was on my nosy duty yes I sent nosy duty snooping around watching all the clips to see what's really going on and wouldn't you know it there's baby true Tyler sitting there with a kaleidoscope baby products front and center now hold up just like folks in the comments I'm starting to side eye this whole situation a lot of y'all were saying the real reason Judy wanted a baby with a white man was so that a light skin child would be more marketable h this is making me look at everything a little differently now too what's really going on here exactly and instead of a dark skinned baby Judy went for a light skinned one and now every single day on Facebook Snapchat and the real BB Judy page it's all about true I mean this poor baby can't even enjoy being a baby cause he's too busy pushing a suitcase and riding in that golf cart just to check the mail and now she's got him sitting there with the kaleidoscope once he's like he's got a job or something i know good and well this baby ain't clocking and already you telling me true legend got a job straight out the womb baby boy has been working since day one and now at just a little over one year old he's out here marketing kaleidoscope baby products i told y'all to pay attention to what i'm saying because i speak nothing but facts i see it all and y'all better be watching too and trust i'm watching every single move okay so listen up because what's happening with them is way bigger than what we're seeing on the surface we're all sitting here thinking this is some fairy tale happy loving couple but that's just not the case i'm going say allegedly but brat might be okay with it especially since she's making money too i see y'all in the comments talking about how aside from the ricky smiley morning show brat still raking in cash from her old music that could be true who knows but one thing we can all agree on is that bbl judy is definitely the rad winner in this relationship now let's dive into this whole mess y'all remember when lisa ray came onto the scene and things got messy she was straight up heated because judy and brat got engaged and lisa ray had no clue so it makes you wonder why was brat so scared to spill the tea to her own sister that's the vibe i'm getting brat didn't want lisa ray to know something's definitely fishy here i saw some of y'all in the comments suggesting brat might still be married and honestly there could be some truth to that all right y'all it's about to get real messy up in here who is ready for the tea and guess who we spilling it on today none other than the rapper de brat and her wifey bbl judy yes the kaleidoscope queen herself so here's seen true legend hey true along with da brat Brat's mama and Judy were all at the airport minding their business traveling somewhere fabulous as usual I said what I said and if y'all paying attention it's all right there in front of you see what folks need to understand is a lot of these celebs love to hop on the gram. Acting like everything's perfect but honey it's looking really shaky allegedly Judy is struggling to keep her real feelings about do brat to herself sis do you not realize your vibe is leaking into these videos cause baby we see it did y'all catch the clip of them fighting over who gets to strap baby true into the car seat like why did it take two grown folks to buckle one baby and make it make sense Judy's whole energy is like this is my baby my prize possession I'm mad do what I want how I want it's giving this ain't your child this is my child period and I'm willing to bet and again I'm saying allegedly. They added words over this baby before I mean the tension is so thick you can cut it with a knife ain't no way they haven't clashed over this little one before now Judy ain't acting up just for the hell of it there's a reason behind all this and trust I see folks in the comments saying Judy's giving first time mom vibes but let's keep it real do brat is the actual first time mom here pushing 50 and just had her first baby meanwhile Judy's on baby number 4 okay but the gag is people are heated cause Judy ain't letting brat fully bask in that first time mom glow and baby some fans are already whispering that the honeymoon phase is officially over I mean where's all that beautiful this beautiful that we used to hear that's what's missing sis when I first started watching them it always seemed like Judy was out here trying to push this relationship forward like she was the one running the show y'all remember that over the tube birthday party she threw for brad right when she popped the big question brat's face said it all judy was doing the most and yes i'm going to say it allegedly forcing the situation this is just my opinion but i'm pretty sure y'all saw it too look y'all judy has been out here moving real strategically this marriage baby it was all a calculated move she's playing the long game acting all in love because it's securing her that bag let's be real judy was out here faking it for the coin marriage babies all of it because she knew it was going to bring her in kaleidoscope the spotlight they needed sis as an attention seeker always has been and I've said it before so remember. When folks were all cool with Brad and Judy finally going public Brad hopped on the Graham in 2020 to confirm what we already knew that her and BBL Judy were an item but the T is they have been linking up since 2017 yep you know the story they first crossed paths at one of Judy's big kaleidoscope events and Brad pulled up and that's when it all popped off but hold on now word on the street is Judy ghosted Brad at one point to run back to her man yes you heard that right sis dipped out for a minute.
and that's why I'm saying part of me feels like Judy's heart has always been elsewhere child, she probably still got a thing for her man I'm just putting it out there so fast forward to February 2022 they tie the knot and boom next thing you know they are talking about babies this whole thing it's been a saga from the jump and honey I know y'all thought Judy was going to be the one carrying that baby right well let me give you the tease straight from entertainment tonight turns out Brad was ready to ride for her wifey Judy tried to go through with an egg retrieval but baby it went left she ended up in the hospital with blood clots in her lungs and her heart getting all enlarged chili it was a mess now listen cuz I already see some of y'all in the comments speculating saying it's Brad's ex or whatever no ma'am that ain't it let me clear this up right now it's Judy's eggs and whoever that sperm donor is okay Brat just carried the baby that's all they went through IVF and no it ain't Brat's eggs involved in this now if you peep season 3 you saw how emotional Brat got when she opened up about the whole situation with Judy's health but I see some of y'all saying that whole scene was just for show and that Judy never had any intentions of being the one carrying that baby oh the drama so let's get real Judy ain't. Fooling nobody sis is about self and she shows it every chance she gets all over these internet streets it's all about her bag her shine and what you can do to keep those coins coming in now when I look at her and Brad together baby it's giving business transactions not love. Now don't get it twisted Judy's done a lot for Brad and some of y'all in the comments have said it too all these lavish gifts she is throwing at Brad that's her way of showing love sure but let's be honest just because she's spoiling her doesn't mean she's genuinely feeling like that when Judy first linked up with Brad you could already see it she saw dollar signs and simple all might say well how can you say that Judy had her own money? And you right sis already had her own bag but let's not act like she didn't see this relationship as a way to level up even more all I'm saying is I don't feel like. Judy was ever fully invested in this from the jump maybe I'm wrong but I'm just calling it how I see it drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think this is just me putting the pieces together now look this is just my opinion but there's a whole lot going on and we really got to sit here and think about it all. These red flags were catching in these one minute two minute clips they're posting online it's telling a bigger story like if things go left and they decide to split what's in the contract when it comes to baby true cause let's be real Judy already but folks noticing that she doesn't want anybody holding her baby I'm just wondering if sis is feeling guilty. I mean y'all remember on the first season of Brat Loves Judy Judy straight up admitted she wasn't there for her kids like that she was too busy building her empire leaving her daughter to raise the boys while she was out chasing the bag maybe now she's trying to make up for it by giving all her attention to baby true the attention she didn't give her other three kids but hold up she can show baby true all the love in the world without having a camera in his face 247 how many days has that baby been in this world and that's how many days the camera's been on him it's giving performative parenting so tell me y'all drop down in the comments and let me know do you see what i'm seeing cause some I'm wondering what's actually going on since some of you are noticing things that I didn't even notice. Is it safe to state that something is off? Please let me know in the comments and don't forget to watch our next video. I'll talk to you later.